top five chord progressions you need for your R&B beats. Part two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Five with Vezzy. It's your boy, Big Vezzy. <laughs> and in this video, I'm just gonna explore five new chord progressions that I feel like every producer should try to use within their R&B beats. Let's hop into it. All right, boom. Our first chord progression is in a major key. And I think this example, I think I'm pretty much in a major key for most of these examples, which is pretty cool. I usually write in minor keys. That's why I'm pointing that out. But yeah, it's pretty dope. But yeah, we're in a major key and our chord progression is four, five, six, one. Very simple, but yet very soulful. Um, I did get a comment asking to see the actual chords. So now I am going to be showing you guys the piano roll as well. So let me just make sure I got this soloed out. And we're gonna listen to the chords first, and then we'll lay everything in context, all right? First chord progression. See what everything sounds like in context. So example number two is also in a major key. And when you guys hear these chords, you're gonna be like, oh, I've I've heard I've heard this before. I think this I wouldn't say it's popular, but I'm pretty sure this chord progression has been used before on a popular record. Um, nope, didn't get any inspiration from it, it just kind of came to mind as to what I should do. So yeah. Uh, let's check out the chords though. Oh, I'm actually gonna be looking at the keys. Let's look at the keys. So yeah, these are the chords, and the chords is right up here. One, flat six, and then we move to the flat seven. All right, let's see what the chords sound like, and then we'll play everything in context. One, flat six, flat seven, one, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, that's pretty much the chords there. Let's see what everything sounds like in context now. So soulful, so soulful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so soulful, man. So soulful. Wow, that's tough. That's tough. Whoever decides to use that chord progression, let me know so I can hear it. I would love to hear what you do with it. Um, also, guys, let me know who you hear on these tracks so I can start sending some beat packs out. Let me know which artists y'all hear on these. They don't have to be mainstream. They could be upcoming indie artists. Let me know. All right. Drop them down in the comments. All right. Moving on to the next one. Progression number three is... I think this one is in a minor key. This is the only one, crazy. The only one that's in a minor key. So let's check out the chords. Open that up. All right, make sure I got it soloed. Yeah, so let's listen. Sorry, forgot to tell you guys the chord progression. So it's one, three, four, six, and then five. All right, let's listen. One, three, four, six, Nice, nice. So let's see what it all sounds like in context now. Sick. 
vintage tile even now like you'd go crazy on that you'd go crazy on that again let me know let me know you guys here on that down in the comments card progression number four um this is we're back in a major key now now i'm looking at it back in a major key the progression is three four two very simple but yet very effective so let's check out the chords let's see what it sounds like um by itself first and then we'll play the context Check it out in context now. Progression number four, yeah, that one's tough. That one's tough. Whoever decides to use this one too, yeah, let me know what you let me know what you make. Send it over to me. All right, core progression number five is the last one. Damn, already. Time does fly when you're having fun, eh? All right. So, core progression number five. So we have two, one. Or I think it's one over three. Yeah, I remember this. Two, one, four five and then the six so we just kind of going up from two to the six let's see what this one sounds like just the chords mm. yeah i remember this one selling some john legend rick ross selling some john legend rick ross stuff i already know all right let's play it in context now <laughs> Progressions right there, guys. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Vibing with Bezzy. I'm pretty sure you guys remember the first video. For those who haven't, I'll pin it right here. But you guys can go ahead and check out my top five RB chord progressions part one. I also will include a free MIDI pack for all of the chord progressions that I did. For this video, you'll see a cover art for it here. But it'll be Love Loops Volume 2. And you guys can go ahead and cop that in the description. It will be completely free. Let me remind you guys also about Chill Vibes, which is like the lo-fi MIDI loops or MIDI chord progressions. You could, go, you could go ahead and grab those. Again, all completely free on my website at Gumroad, but I will definitely leave the link in the description to make it super simple for y'all. All right, until next time, you guys be great, stay safe, and much love. Peace.